Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Damn, it's exciting time of the year, isn't it? Hope everybody's doing well as I am. Um, today's gonna be a little bit of a different kind of stream. But we're gonna try to squeeze in some gameplay towards the end. But what, tonight we kind of kind of want to discuss um, everything about the new Gatek railing. Hopefully everybody is doing well. I'm excited, man. I really. I'm really interested to get into this thing, man. This is a really cool thing. It's a really cool ship. I'm quite excited for it. So uh, I hope you all are excited as I am. Let's get into it. All right. If you're new to this channel, you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Um, and if you're on Twitch, make sure you follow as well. And to come over to YouTube as well and make sure you subscribe. All right. Let's get into it. All right. Um, so just today, on Sierge, um, those that are in the chairman club are were given the opportunity to get the first dibs on this new concept ship called um, the the Gatek. Uh, let me lower my volume a little bit. Let me just the uh, the Gatek railing. What's going on, Isaiah? Jonathan, what's going on? How you guys doing? It looks good. Good job, CIG, for doing non-fighters. Yes, 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 yes. I absolutely agree. It's 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 refreshing to see something new um coming into cargo hauling. Man, this this ship, this ship makes cargo hauling look cool. Like, even if you're not a, a cargo hauler, this ship will get you into trading. You know what I mean? Like th this this thing, this is my thing, man. All right, so let, let's get into it. Um, so real quick, just a quick introduction. Many humans consider, consider the people of the, I don't know how to pronounce that, the Sosi, so, oh, I think it's Soshan, Soshan as alien in every sense of the word. However, there are clear advantages to, uh, to be gained to be gained from our advanced technology to technological uh, methods of surfacing. The Gatek uh, ships are ideal for human interested in utilizing the knowledge we have earned, earned from a fable history living amongst the stars. Our first entry to the UV ship market is the Gatek railing. Um, is an elegant uh, interspecies commercial hauler. I like that. I like the whole idea of it, man. Built for both humans and Xi'an crew looking for a safe and reliable cargo solution. Utilizing our proprietary grab lab technology and time-tested traditional design updated for the modern era. Raylan is a prime example of why the Xi'an Empire has trusted Gatsek with producing its industrial and commercial vessel for centuries Ooh. right let's go let's go so it looks like the cargo right let me let me expand this this is no first of all this is a beautiful ship how much scu it says 320 scu so this ship is seems like it's going to sit just below it's i think it's gonna be mid-tier so it's gonna sit between your caterpillars or your hall c's and it's gonna be competing with the hall b in terms of uh the mid-range type of haulers so um so it's gonna be right below the caterpillar and just right above your freelancers and constellations right so just that that little mid section right there it's going to be at all right um i like it it's a really cool piece of uh piece of technology man this this thing is beautiful man the design the coloring even, even i'm not a pink person but this this looks good this looks good i'm kind of interested to see the other skins that they have for it and i mean look at this look at this look how beautiful that is that shine that they have on it man the coolest ship uh in game absolutely agree with that absolutely this even if you don't like hauling you think hauling is boring this will make it exciting for you 
just being in a ship is going to be exciting all right so let's get let's get more some more images look at that look at that how beautiful that is like i think this thing will look really beautiful in a nice blue nice navy blue fluorescent type of color it will be beautiful and I, and that there's also a green skin i think they showed um they made available for concierge um that also looks really good but like a maybe like a black also will look really good with this or even a, a full silver you know i think this this thing will look good man so it had to tend to something. Uh, did you say how much SCU it holds? It is 320 SCU, Jonathan. Yes, which was more. It was more multi-crew. Multi-role. Yeah, I know. Like, you know what? I've been thinking about that. Can I make this thing a multi-role ship? That's a good question. Right? It's multi-crew. It has some guns. Each each turret. There's, there's two turrets. And uh, each turret. I believe that's the next one. I think it's this one, right? Each turret has uh, two size four. So that's a lot of firepower, if you think about it. In addition to that, there is some missiles that it has, right? I don't wanna, I don't wanna jump too far ahead, right? So you can make it multi-role. It's just that you, you, you'll have no space to put a land vehicle. That's the only thing. It competes with a Starfarer. But then again, the Starfarer. How much SCU does a Starfarer have in terms of cargo? The Starfarer is really a, a gas. A gas collector. It's, it's, a, it's a refueling ship. So I don't think it be, it's gonna it's it's built to compete with the Starfarer. But uh I see what you're saying though. So, so the Starfarer is definitely in a, a completely different realm. What I'm thinking this is going to be competing with is a hobby. Yeah, I know it's not in game right now, but it's going to be the hobby. It's going to be. What else is in that class? I don't think we have we've seen anything else in that class. I believe the Starfare is 295. Yeah. The Starfare is, I think the Starfare will probably be larger. I think what makes this thing so big is, is the arms, you know? I think that's what it is. All right. So in addition to that, it comes with crew, crew quarters for both Xi'an and humans. This is really, really cool. I like this. Looks like the beds are levitating. I really love the design language of, of Xi'an, by the way. This is beautiful. This is well done. The the way the um, the textures complement each other is just fantastic. And the, the the color schemes are just are on point. They're on point. I really love it, man. This is very nice, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does, it does. It does give us some insight on the, the approximate size it will be. Yo, Brandon, what's going on, man? How you doing, bro? We're looking into the new cargo ship from Xi'an. Gatek. Gatek Raylin. All right? So, as I said before, it does come with um, a new set some some really cool looking turrets man this is really cool like i could imagine being sitting inside of this thing it's probably super high tech i mean look how high tech it looks from the outside right man i would love to be in this and this is this looks like a xian gun these look like new guns and these are size fours i would love to get my hands on one of these this look really nice looks really nice new cargo ship how big is it um yeah it's a new cargo ship i think this is going to be sitting around the size of a starfare i think it's going to be sitting around the size of a starfare and i think what makes it super big is is the uh the arms of it i don't know if it's the arms or what they call it but the arms in the front kind of makes it a little bit bigger but I, it looks like 
the size of a, a similar size to the Starfarer. We're going to get into the dimensions shortly. And then, um, okay. So Isaiah is saying, uh, next, uh, CIG do the same thing, but internal cargo. Yeah. I, I think they should do one with internal cargo as well. Not the same ship, but a different, like if, if Gatech is a, is a dead, there are manufacturers for cargo ships. So I'm sure there's going to be other entries with interior, um, for, you know, I think it'll be good for them to have a different, um, offering for interior space for protection. All right. So this is really cool, man. This is really cool. So. For those that don't know what this is going to do is it's going to retract. This is, this is how you get into the ship from the, the front entrance. And, uh, this, this comes down on its own and then you would have to go on it and then it will just take you right into the ship. Super cool. I think we're going to see a little bit of that very shortly. Right. And look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that. Damn, man, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, exactly. Hover elevator. Exactly. I love how it folds too, man. I love how it folds. This is... And like, I kind of want to wonder, are these... Are these the actual um cargo units these little things right here do they like detach like that you know i'm curious to find out how that works oh it looks like it is it looks like there it is each um each one of these each one of these is a cargo pod so i wonder how they they you can remove them They don't even look like they're attached to each other. I think it's using some sort of a uh, grab lev uh, technology, man, to 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 get them to attach. I'm thinking of getting one. Oh, my wallet is running from me, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, you have to you have to hide your wallet, man. You have to hide your wallet, bro. Like I'm really considering. I'm trying to figure out what ship I should upgrade to from to get this. I'm really thinking about that right now. So it says, um, tractor beam. There's a tractor beam. Interesting. More accurate and power and power. Thanks to integrated grab leg tech. So there's a tractor beam, uh, crew quarters is somewhere in there. All right. I saw something else that was interesting. Docking collar. So there's a docking collar here in the back. So can this. If there's a docking collar back here, cockpit, missile pods. Let's see, let's see. Turrets, tractor beam. Okay, so the tractor beam seems like it's going to be used to pick up the actual cargo pods to bring it onto the ship, maybe. And it says that right here is a docking collar. So what is it going to be able to dock with? Is it going to be ship to ship docking or will it be docking at stations? I, I would really love to see this thing dock at stations. Looks like hundred percent maneuverable thrusters. Yes. Yes. The thrusters are maneuverable, um, depending on atmosphere where you are actually. So landing mode and uh, flight mode. Like, uh, where would the main one be? So the main thrusters, I believe, no, these four thrusters are the main thrusters. All, all four of these, right? Yeah. These are the thrusters right here. So four big, powerful thrusters. So now what I'm curious about is, is this thing going to be fast? It looks like it should be fast. It looks like it should be fast. 
I mean, look at look 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 at the the, the star lifter right now. The star lifter is super super quick, even when it's full. It's very fast. So I wonder if this thing can compete in terms of speed with the star lifter. And plus, this doesn't hold as much as the star lifter, so it should be. I I think it should be faster than the star lifter. It should be faster than the star lifter. The size of the turret, um, I'm not sure about the size of the turret, but the guns on the turret are size 4 guns. Okay, so medium sized ships that have ship to ship docking. Okay, I agree, I agree. And if it's the same size as the star lifter, star fair, then it should be able to dock on the station. Okay, I think it is going to be the size of a star, a star fair. It's very similar. It makes me want to ram something, no cap. <laughs> oh man, this looks really good though. This looks really good. I like this. All right, so for those that wanted to find out the dimensions, the spe the specifications of this ship is um, 53 meters in length, 52 meters wide, and 67 meters in height. So I think what helps with the height is this, is the front. I don't know what to call these things. Kind of looks like a starfish a little bit right so that's kind of that kind of gives it that height two uh man turrets with two size four weapons all right and then two size four missile racks and then two size three missile racks holds a crew of four and has 320 scu what i'm curious about is can they make a variant of this Give us more cargo, maybe. Right? All right, so we got some images images here. Yo, I'm a Rook. How's it going? How you doing? <laughs> I'm not telling you what pad I'm on. Amaru, how's it going? Uh, about uh, to full speed through an asteroid belt. <laughs> it's quite a bit smaller than a Starfarer. Quite a bit smaller? Okay. Okay. Alright, so the interior looks fantastic. The interior is, for me, it's 10 out of 10 for the interior. I'm doing well, Amaru. I'm doing well. Um, I did some bounties and got back at uh, 50, 500k AUEC. Nice, 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 nice. I did some bounty today and I got a crime stat for it. <laughs> We're having some terrible luck with it, man. Um, but so this, this looks more like the elevator, right? I think when they describe this, this is the elevator. You know what? You know, I'll, I'll save that a, a little bit later save that for a little bit later right really love the design of this so this looks like is this like a table or a seat what is that oh you know what i think this is what it looks like when it's not retracted right so this will come out like this and transform into this that is so cool. I think maybe this is how you actually call the elevator. That's my guess. That's my guess. Right? This one we've seen. Show you guys once again. I'm so hyped for another Gatek uh, ship. The design cues got me hot. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite manufacturers in game right now it's 100 one of my favorites all right so let's look at this one okay so look at this so right this is the same thing i don't know what it is but it looks like a place like maybe sort of like a desk or something you work on i don't know and there's a mess hall right here so this seems like this is a living quarters of the ship. Very, very nice. And then you access the turrets through here. 
Interesting. Interesting. All right. What's the next? This is a really beautiful look. So look at this. Look at this imagery right here. It's first of all, it's beautiful in flight. It's beautiful. But this is the first time we're seeing super large asteroids with crevices where we can actually fly through. Look at this. So this is what the asteroids in game are going to eventually look like. This is super cool, man. Isn't it cool? Really nice. Yeah, so we did mention earlier that there were some missile racks. Uh, two size fours. I believe the size fours are probably the ones on the top. And then, then two size threes are the ones right here. So these launch from the midsection just below the cockpit. So this is this is this is the bridge right here. This is a bridge right here, and it is where it launches its missiles. Yeah, it's only 225 store credit. $200 for war bond. Yeah, they showed it in ISC. It's a, a little pad that flips up. 200 war bond, 225 store credit. Yo, Shay, what's going on? How you doing? Yes, it is. We're going to be watching the video for ISC very shortly. Okay, so this is the back. This is the back. So this is the docking collar okay this looks more like it would fit the uh larger the docking call this this looks like the same docking collar that the stations have look at look at the shape of it it looks like this exact same one that the um hammerhead and uh 890 jump have This is super cool, man. I really like I really like the shine on it. It's it's perfect. It's a, it's a nice blend, right? A nice blend. Very well designed. I'm very impressed with this. And I really love the Xion Tech, man. All right. And I think we did see this one. And this is how the turrets come out. Very, very unique. It's a very unique design. I think this is a good entry. It's a good entry into the hauling, um, um, the hauling space. I think it's going to be unique. It's going to be a special ship. It's going to be a really cool ship to have. Um, it's definitely a ship I'm definitely going to be striving to get. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it in game or going to get it through store credit. But I'm still thinking about it. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited for this, man. I'm really excited to see the kind of skins that they may have for it. I'm thinking maybe like a, a navy blue, a fluorescent, fluorescent type of color. That would look really cool. Or even a, a full silver or a black. It's, it would look really cool with, with, with those colors. So I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. Yeah, I think Shiv, I think you're 100% right. If you don't get it now, it's probably going to hit about 300 when it actually goes live. Anyone knows how long this ship is supposed to take to develop? I have no idea, bro. I have no idea. <laughs> A Gatic bomber? <laughs> but the thing, it won't be Gatic. It'll, it'll probably be a different Gian, um, a Gian house, a different house that's that's more so into the military xian um vessels but this one um gatek is more dedicated with um cargo cargo ships so um all right so this is what the bridge looks like beautiful beautiful this this right here is the most beautiful bridge i've ever seen in any game in any game like 
this thing looks this thing makes i'm gonna say it this thing makes the bridge of the um the star lifter and even my my msr look like it's nothing this 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 like they knocked this out of the park 100 man i really love the coloring of this i wonder if they'll give us the ability to change skins of like the seats and the interior uh colors hopefully they'll allow us to do that in game i know that they, they show some tech some of that tech but I, I would love to also have the option to change these colors man it looks really cool even even if they don't this looks really good it looks really good the animation we're gonna see it shortly best pilot seat ever absolutely and it, they float they're floating like who doesn't want floating pilot seats come on man this one this one like when i first saw this i'm like man there's no way man this this doesn't even look like it, it should be should even be it's just, it looks like a fantasy type of game or a fantasy type of uh image but it's um it's very impressive man i really like it i really like it there are more okay we've seen this all right all right so here are the prices $200 war bond with the paint so you get a paint with it you get an extra paint so you get the pink and then you get this pink and then um and then you can get the you can get store credit for 225 and uh you'll just get the the, the the default color but this one looks really cool for this paint it looks really cool and then there's some other packages for it for those that are interested but i believe this will be available to you guys to everybody tomorrow 